Hi Scorpios and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your monthly love reading for February. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. <clears throat> if it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. And uh, let's see, and don't... Yeah, and I also included FaceTime and video readings as well. And of course, the prices have changed. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get your reading started. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love from, for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in Love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love. Okay, there's a card that flipped over. Let me see. There you go. Please tell me about Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love. Okay. Just too many damn cards, so that's going back in. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love for the month of February 2020. Please tell me about Scorpios in love. Oh my God. Oh, well, I'm going to go right ahead and take these two because they came my upright. You guys are like all over the place today. The Nine of Wands, the bottom of the deck. And we have... Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands and a Magician, the Moon and the Hangman, and the Fool and the Ace of Swords. So somebody here wants a new beginning, they want to manifest you back. But somebody's in limbo because there's a secret that's unknown here, and somebody's being guarded here. Someone's guarded here, they want a new beginning. But there's a truth that you don't know about that's being kept from you. And this person could have you in limbo or you could have this person in limbo. Okay? But somebody here is guarded. Somebody here is guarded. So let's find out. Let me start clarifying so we can get some more information. Okay? Please give me more information on the Queen of Soul, the Queen of Wands. Please give me more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please get more information on the Queen of Wands. Please get more information on this Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please get more information on the Queen of Wands. Please get more information on the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, a Cancer, a Aries, or uh, Aquarius, uh, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Sag, Leo, Aries. Okay, we have we have the Page of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands and the Chariot, Cancer. So somebody wants to communicate with you. Someone wants to communicate with you and make an offering here. They want to move forward with you, Scorpio. And they want to manifest you back. They want to, man not back, they want to manifest you into their life. I don't know if they're manifesting you back. I'm going to find out about the Magician. Please get more information on the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Please get more information on the Magician. Please get more information on the magician. Why is this magician here? Please get more information on the magician. Please get more information on the magician. Why is this magician here? 
to give more information on the magician. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Seven of Pentacles, they want to invest. Please give more information on the magician. Why is this magician here? Please give more information on this magician. Why is this magician here? Please give more information on the magician. Please give more information on the magician. What we got here? And a Knight of Wands. This person wants to come towards you and they want to invest into this connection with you. They want to invest. This could be somebody new, Scorpio. Hold on a second, Scorpio. My bad, Scorpio. I'm back. My bad. Had to go check on my dinner. It's cooking right now. I ain't gonna let it burn, okay? I'm sorry, but I have to be a mother. I'm not only a tarot reader, but I'm also a mother. Yes, and I have to cook dinner because I don't have a personal chef, okay? So, sorry for those of you guys that don't like it. My bad. Oh, well. But anyway, Scorpio, back to you. The moon. Whoever this person is, this could be a new person here that's coming in. It could be a new person. They find they're very attracted to you. They're very attracted to you. They want to communicate with you. Either they might be sending you an email or a text, or they could, you know, just approach you, come towards you, because this person feels very passionate and they want to be and they want to invest in you. And they want to manifest. They want just want to manifest you. So this might be somebody new here. Let's find out. Please get more information on the moon. Why is the moon here? Please get more information on this moon. Please get more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please get more information on the moon. Why is the moon here? Please get more information on the moon. Please get more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please get more information on the moon. Please get, please get more information on the moon. They want to work with you too. You got the three of pentacles. So why the hangman? Oh, so this is somebody that might be coming back. Because we got the six of swords in reverse. Look. So this is somebody coming back. The three of pentacles wanting to work with you. Please get more information on the moon. Please get more information on this moon. Why is the moon here? Please get more information on this moon. Please get more information on the moon. Oh, okay. Look at this. The hair font. So you don't know this, but this person, whoever you were dealing with, this person is coming back. There's somebody that's coming back here now. They're coming back, and they're willing to cooperate with you. They're trying to, you know, compromise because they're looking for commitment now. This person is looking to have commitment with you, and they're coming back, whoever this person is. But just, apparently, you don't know who it is because it hasn't happened. For some of you guys, it already happened. Some of you guys, it hasn't happened. But there's somebody that's coming back here. Somebody, uh, it's just somebody. And um, this also applies to men. It does not just apply to females. This also applies to men because we all have feminine and masculine energies in us. And... Also, if you need to flip this, go right ahead and flip it because uh, I may be picking up on the other person's energy and not yours. So if you need to flip it, flip it, okay? So let's get more information on the hangman. I want to know why the hangman's here. Please get more information on the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Please get more information on the hangman. Please get more information on the hangman. Somebody, you guys are waiting. Yep, you guys are waiting. You guys are waiting on this person. Please get more information on the hangman. You're waiting for this person to contact you. That's what you're doing. Because we got the three of wands here. 
So you're waiting. That's why you're in limbo. This person has you waiting or you got this person waiting. The Ace of Cups. This is a new love. And the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel's turning, baby, and it's turning in your favor. Somebody here, you are waiting. Either this person has kept you on, kept you waiting on limbo, kept you hanging. And you are now waiting for this person to communicate with you. But this person is coming back. They're coming back, and they're coming in. They're coming back in a new energy. They're coming back in a new energy because now they're looking for commitment. Now they want a brand new start in love because you're waiting on this new beginning with this person. You want a new beginning with this person, and it's turning. The wheel is turning, so it's going to start turning in your favor because this person is coming back. And when they come back now, they're coming back wanting to cooperate with you, wanting to compromise, wanting commitment. Wanting to invest into the relationship, wanting to move forward with you, and they feel this person feels very passionate, they find you very attractive. Hold on, Scorp. Yeah, so this person finds you very attractive. This person finds you very attractive, and they want to invest in you. They're ready. And look, that's the reason why we got the fool right here, because they want, they want to take the leap of faith, and the truth is going to come to you with the Ace of Swords here. The truth is going to come to you, and it's going to be them opening up to you, letting you know how they feel about you. So this person is serious about you. This person is serious about you. Let's find out about the fool. Please get more information on this fool. Please get more information on this fool. Why is this fool here? Please get more information on the fool. Please get more information on the fool. Why is this fool here? Please get more information on the fool. On the fool. Okay, this person does not have options. Second chance judgment. Then when they're coming back, they're ready to take that leap of faith with you. If this person had options, they don't have options anymore. If this person was confused at more at one point, this person has clarity. They came down to reality. They're no longer confused. That's where the Ace of Swords comes in. This person is no longer confused. They know the truth. They came down to reality if this person was confused. But they're coming back with the Five of Swords here in reverse. They're coming back because they want to make amends with you. They want to do right with you. They want to make a, They want to get a second chance. That's what they're coming back for because they want a second chance. So this is somebody that you already know. And you've been waiting on this person. This person's waiting on you to communicate and make an offering. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Give you more information on the Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Give you more information. And there we go. There we go, baby. There we go. You guys could be dealing with an air sign. We got the Page of Swords. The King of Swords. So that's an Aquarius right there. And the Five of Wands. So this person is no longer conflicted what they want now. This person is no longer conflicted. They now know you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius, a Cancer, a Taurus, a Sag, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, who else do we have? Or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So you guys could be dealing with anybody. You guys could be dealing with anybody. So, this person that's coming back, they already made a decision to communicate with you. And they already made a decision. They're no longer conflicted. Right here, this is mental conflict. This, this is them being, because this is the Five of Wands with the, Ace of, with the Page of Swords. This is them being mental con conflicted because they wasn't able to make a decision at one point. Because they needed clarity. That's the reason why they was in, They had you in hangman mode for such a long time. And you've been waiting. 
excuse me, you've been waiting on this person because this person didn't have, they didn't, they needed clarity, and they're no longer com and they're no longer conflicted anymore. Now they know that they want to communicate with you, and now they they want to communicate with you. And the King of Swords here, the King of Swords here, he speaks truth. He speaks the truth and he acts on truth. So when this person comes towards you, they're gonna come, they're gonna come towards you, uh, they're gonna come to you with the truth. And this person could have been the one that was guarded. Either you or them were guarded. And they was guarded because they didn't know they wasn't they wasn't sure of what they wanted. But now they do know what they wanted. Now they're no longer conflicted. Now they know that they do want commitment. Now they know that they want to invest in you. Because they're very attracted to you. And they do love you. And they want to start something new with you. And that's why they're coming back. Because they want to compromise. They want a second chance. They're hoping that you do give them a second chance. Because they want to do right by you now. They want to be with you. This person wants to be with you now. This person wants to be with you. And they're going to be speaking their truth. So we'll see. We'll see how much truth will you get. Right? Because it's a... Because with the Ace of Swords, that's truth coming towards you. But how much truth are they going to actually tell you? Yeah, they're going to tell you a certain amount of truth, or they're going to gonna tell you all the truth. I don't know. But this person's coming back. You don't know this because it's because it hasn't came, it hasn't happened, or it's about to happen to you. But you got this new person ready to commit. Not a new person. Well, some of you guys may be a new person. Because I just said new person. So, for some of you guys, it may just be a new person that's coming in. That probably that probably has asked you out in the past. And you had turned them out, turned them down. And now they're coming back for they're asking you one more time. Hey, you want to go out? And this time around, you probably end up saying yes. So... Uh, let's get your guidance message here, Scorpio. Please give me a guidance message for 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 Scorpio. What do we have here? Team spirit. Work together as a team. Cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your weekly Scorpios. Uh, you guys take care, be safe, and have a good rest of the week. Bye, Scorpios.